Number 47, determine the molarity for each of the following solutions, and then we have letter E. So in this case, they told us that we had 7 times 10 to the negative 3 moles of I2 in 100 mils of solution. All right, so we need to solve for molarity. Molarity comes from a formula, right? And they gave us a quantity of, of the substance, right? 7 times 10 to the negative 3 moles. And they told us the volume, 100 mils. So the formula that's coming to mind is this formula. It's molarity equals the moles of the solute divided by the liters of solution. But however, we know it roughly as capital M, capital M always is molarity, equals moles divided by liters. So that's what I'll write down. We just need to know it as capital M equals moles divided by liters. Now let's see, did they give us any of the information already? Well, yeah, they gave us the mole value, right? So we know that the top number when we're solving is 7.0 times 10 to the negative 3 moles. But did they give us a liter? Eh, no, they didn't. They gave us a milliliter. So the first thing we have to do is somehow find out how to go from 100 mils to liter. Well, we've done conversions before. Here is the trick down below. If you're starting at mils and you're going to liters, all you have to do is take your number and divide it by a thousand. You could also just take the decimal and move it three times to the left. Either is the same exact idea. So in this case, if I divide by a thousand or just move the decimal place over, I will get uh, 0.100. Uh, 1.1000 liters. That's equivalent to 100 mils. Now I know what the liter value is. 0 0.1000 liters. So now I'm ready to solve. Molarity, capital M, equals 7.0 times 10 to the negative 3 divided by 0 0.1000. Capital M equals, let's see, 7.0 times 10 to the negative 3, all divided by 0 0.1. 0 0.07, and if we're playing the sig fig rule, technically we have two sig figs up top here, so my answer should have two sig figs, so I'm just going to stick a 0 at the end. Remember, these do not count as far as sig figs. Those are uh, leading zeros. Now, the units for molarity is either a big M, or you could just say the components that you divided, mole divided by liter. And those are the units as well. Either is acceptable. And that's the answer. Not bad, guys. What do you think? These are pretty easy. Okay. So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Make sure you know these, you know, quote unquote tricks because it just makes doing the math more easy. All right. Or easier, right? So thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully this is helping you in your chemistry class. If you want to check out our channel, we got physics videos and math videos as well. So you could always check those out if you guys need help in those subjects or know somebody with those subjects that are, that's taking those subjects. But anyway, I'm rambling. So thank you so much. See you later. Bye-bye.